Yeah, man, let's get back to a couple of uh, more questions, man. Uh, we definitely uh, I want to make sure, like I said, we answer as many as we can. As we can. Here goes from at Joe C. Smith 11 on Twitter. He said, Booker, what was the most painful finisher to take? Oh, man. Uh, That's a good one. No, I, I talk about that finisher all the time. It was back in WCW. Um, you know, a lot of those ECW guys came over. And uh, Mike Awesome was one of the guys. And I remember watching Mike Awesome on ECW, um, you know, but but Paul Heyman used to, you know, manipulate, let's just say, the tape. And, um, man, I thought those guys could actually work. And then I got in the ring with Mike Awesome. And I go, wait, wait a minute, uh, this guy can't work. <laughs> um, and uh, he did the, uh, you know, Diamond's Edge. I guess that's what um, um, Razor Ramon used to call it, right? Yeah, the, ra the Razor's Razor Edge. Yeah, the Razor's Edge. And it, but it was a running razor's edge, and it ran all the way to the other side of the ring and almost killed me. My head almost hit the bottom turnbuckle on the way down. That's how far we went across the ring. And I was out for uh, like two months uh, with a bad neck injury after that. And I thought my career was was definitely in jeopardy. But uh, that, 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 uh, God rest his soul, man, uh, Mike Awesome. But uh, he definitely um, almost, uh, almost put me on the shelf. That's the thing, you know, I mean, the, the one that gets me that I don't understand, like, obviously, we had uh, Austin got hurt with a with a pile driver, but the tombstone is still scary to look at. I know there's probably safe and what have you, but uh, as someone who's been on the receiving end of the Undertaker's tombstone pile driver, I'm sure you have a lot of confidence that Taker's going to give it to you, right? But when you're hanging upside down, like, what's going through your mind? Well, I'm hanging on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, my head ain't gonna move one inch. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I would be. Who was that? Did they say Ben Askren liked to get in the crotch? That's why I was. <laughs> I was like Ben Askren. <laughs> I wasn't moving. <laughs> it wasn't a pretty sight, but I was making sure <laughs> I'm holding on. You know, literally. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I was scared, man. I was scared. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna sit there and lie. But uh, it's uh, a place you, uh, of course, you gotta. I've always had a lot of trust in, in, in The Undertaker, but sometimes you could do uh, um, something, can happen, and it could be your fault. You yeah. know? You really right. can't. Well, 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 remember all those, uh, there was like two guys, I think who took the uh, Styles Clash the wrong way, right? They yeah. they tucked their chin instead of going back with their head, and they ended up yeah, really yeah. hurt from it. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So it's um, sometimes you can make a mistake out there, and, you know, just because the adrenaline is flowing, you know, uh, you know, one, you're thinking one thing, and bang, you know, before you uh, realize it, it's, it's happened. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, I've always I've always wondered about those uh the, the, the pile drivers that just look. What's the easiest finish to take? Like it look like a rock bottom looks pretty easy, right? Stunner. What about pe is a pedigree f a little scary to take? Uh, yeah, you know, I probably think the uh, the AA AA is probably the easiest bump to take. Oh, John Cena's uh John Cena's probably got the easiest bump you can take because it's like it's like going you know fall on a pillow or something you know, but but it, you know if you do it right, people you know. You know, look at it and say, man, that's pretty awesome. You know what I mean? So, nah, man, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's just about how you do it. 